Developing news in Sterling Heights, Michigan lawmakers standing beside Iraqi families calling on federal authorities to prioritize the safety of Iraqi nationals who face deportation following a Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals ruling this week. And earlier this week, the appeals court upheld a previous ruling by a three-judge panel that U.S. District Judge Mark Goldsmith lacked the authority to stop the deportations and grant bond hearings. Now, the bond hearings resulted in the release of hundreds of detainees nationwide in November. However, the ruling means some Iraqi detainees previously protected by the court order face deportation after April 9th. Jermont Terry is live with a look at what local lawmakers had to say today. Jermont. Three of those deportations could start as early as next Tuesday, and that's why today lawmakers and families gathered here at the Chaldean Community Foundation in Sterling Heights to really ask and demand that the government reconsider this process, a process they say will rip families apart. Ankle bracelet, yep. I gotta wear it on me at all times. Constant GPS tracking. That's been Stefan Shakur's reality since getting released from federal custody. This is what you're forced to carry with you all the time. At all times. The papers show his temporary release from federal prison and the limitations Stefan faces after spending more than a year in federal custody due to possible deportation back to Iraq. I couldn't even tell you how I've been living. I don't even know. I can't. I'm not able to get a job. Um, a lot of the detainees are unable to drive, uh, get work authorization cards. Stefan's among the 1,000 detainees who's lived in limbo since 2017, when Immigration and Custom Enforcement arrested, detained, and ordered them removed from the country, forced to return to Iraq, leaving behind loved ones like his son. You know, I've resided here, you know, 39 years out of my 41 years of living. <laughs> I left Iraq when I was two months old. I have no knowledge of Iraq whatsoever. And this crowd gathered in an effort to save Stefan and others from deportation, a return to a country where leaders will likely prosecute them due to their Christian beliefs. These Michigan congressional leaders say they're working to make sure the courts treat each case individually, despite this week's ruling to start the process in the coming days. To wrap them up into one package is wrong, and that's something I'm going to fight against. Now, Stefan did serve seven years in prison when, uh, for breaking and entering a crime that happened when he was 17. Now, since getting released, he says that he's been a productive part of society. We should point out that Congressman Andy Levin sent a letter to Homeland Security urging that this process be halted. Reporting live in Sterling Heights, Jermont Terry, Local 4.